Welcome back. This is a follow-on to my earlier video regarding Wired Magazine. If you've seen this issue yet. December 2006. I mentioned that I don't subscribe to this magazine. I'll pick it up if there's an interesting article. But I've always been turned off by the amount of advertising in this thing. And I mentioned in my earlier video that my estimate was around 75% of all the pages in a particular issue would be advertising of some sort. So I went through here and each page which has actual content, I numbered the pages. And <coughs> this isn't going to be absolutely scientific. In other words, I did not take a ruler and measure on a particular page that was split between advertising and content, like how many uh, column inches is the content, and then break it out from the rest of the page. So what I did was, if it was mixed, I just called it content. I did not include all the little flip out things that either stay in here and force you to go to that section of the magazine because it's stiff or the other ones that will fall out in your lap when you do this. So there's a couple of flip things in here that are more advertising. So what I found, I went through and actually numbered the pages that actually have content. So let me flip through to a section I saw in here that had a fairly blank page where I wrote some notes. And it's the it's the page that's opposite of this one. This is the December 2006 issue there are 287 pages in this particular issue. Only 90 pages out of 287 is content, which means over two-thirds of this issue is just simply paid advertising. So I kind of put this down to December 2006 issues only 90 pages of content in 200 and in a 287 page issue so read it and weep 69 percent of this issue is simply ads if I was to subscribe I'd probably write a letter to Wired magazine and say uh, hey why don't you uh, discount this by uh, two-thirds since two-thirds of this issue is already paid for by the people with the ads anyway I'm not impressed again lonely girl 15 but this does have a good article in here on YouTube and uh, there was a particular phrase in here and I think it's on page 222. Let me look it up. Because I misquoted it slightly in, uh, in my earlier video. It has uh, an article in here. Here. It's uh, YouTube versus the boob tube. So it's how it's how YouTube is replacing the one-way media that we've always been familiar with which is simply broadcast television which is all one way and uh, right here this is the part that I kind of misquoted earlier in my in my earlier video the state of the old commercial broadcasting model can be summarized like this a spiraling vortex of ruin that's the actual quote that's in the magazine. 
So it looks like uh, the people that fund all the broadcast media with their ads are going to have to flock somewhere else to uh, attract our eyeballs, so to speak, because when, we're, when we are in front of our uh, computer monitor on YouTube or our, if we're reading magazines, of course I don't read much of this one since most of it's ads anyway, but it's wherever our eyes are is where the advertising is going to end up going to. I guess it's going to go away from broadcast TV. But anyway, I just wanted to share this. Two-thirds of this issue is simply ads. All I can say is, yuck.